Welcome to this Oracle Enterprise Metadata Management 12C tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to create a model and configure an import bridge. So we are now in Oracle Enterprise Metadata Management 12C. Using the Metadata Manager, we are going to first create a model. A model in OEMM is used to store metadata coming from different products such as your BI tools, your ETL tools, your modeling tools, as well as your databases and big data sources or files. So I'm going to right click on recordings, select new, model, and then we're going to create that model using the model wizard. So I'm going to call it load data into data warehouse, as this is what I'm doing in ODI, in the ETL product. And then I'm going to pick the Oracle Data Integrator bridge and I'm going to use this list here where you can see modeling tools such as Erwin, you can see uh, modeling tools from Vacadero, business intelligence products from a variety of different vendors, and of course you can see several different Oracle tools that are fully integrated with OEMM. So I'm going to select Oracle Data Integrator. Once you have selected the bridge, you have to go to the import setup screen and there you can enter the parameters that are going to be used by OEMM to retrieve the metadata. So I'm going to go ahead and specify the installation directory for ODI. I'm going to specify the URL to access the ODI repository. So I'm going to use localhost, port is going to be 1521, and then the SID, the instance, is going to be ORCL. I'm going to specify the repository username at the database level. I'm going to specify the ODI username, so I'm going to use supervisor here, which is the administrator user in ODI. I'm going to specify the work repository that I want to connect to, which is where all of the design time metadata is going to be stored. And then I'm going to specify the scope of the metadata harvesting. I could start from the runtime objects, such as the load plans and the scenarios, in order to determine what design time objects I'm going to bring in inside OEMM. Or I can just go ahead and select projects, which is what I'm going to do here, and start with an ODI project and retrieve all of all the metadata that is stored within that project. Using the content browser, OEMM will allow me to connect to the ODI repository and then choose the metadata that I'm interested in. So right here we can browse the ODI repository and I can be very specific and grab a few selected mappings or I can decide to retrieve the metadata for the project. So I'm going to do that and select Lineage Demo here. Click on Select. And then I'm going to specify what context I'm going to be using. And here context is an ODI specific concept that is used to basically tie together logical and physical resources. And when you want to retrieve the metadata, you want to use the actual physical metadata. So I'm going to select global right here. And now I'm done with the configuration of the ODI bridge and it works exactly in the same way for any of the bridges that we ship with OEMM such as the Oracle Business Intelligence bridge, uh, the Oracle Data Modeler bridge and any of the, the other bridges that we provide. So I'm going to go ahead and click on test. OEMM is testing the connection, making sure everything is working fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on create in order to create the model. While I'm doing that, it's worth knowing that you can also import the metadata based on a schedule and you can decide to harvest the metadata every day, every hour, every month, depending on how you want to do it. So now we're starting the operation to actually retrieve the metadata from Oracle Data Integrator and store it inside the Oracle Enterprise Metadata Management repository. So we're now done with the metadata import from ODI. So I'm going to go ahead and click on yes to open up the model that we just created together. So using the metadata manager, I can very easily browse my models and drill down and access the objects that I'm interested in that are coming from the ODI product. So right now we're looking at the mappings. I can, for example, open up LD underscore orders and as you can see, we can collapse any of the panels. And now I can visualize graphically the actual data flow of my ETL mapping. So we can see LD underscore orders. I can expand any of the nodes. 
and we can now review together the flow of the data coming from four different sources. We're doing some aggregations in the middle, and then we are pushing all of the data into this SAMP revenue F table. So this is the end of this tutorial. We have shown you how to create a model, and we have shown you how to configure a metadata bridge. Thank you.